Are you already dreading Valentine's Day? That one day a year where you notice that you are single more than any other day? You see couples everywhere kissing, holding hands with flowers and teddy bears and chocolates? Well, I have some tips for you about how you can make the day great, even if you're single. Hi, I'm Thomas, and I'm a sex researcher. Welcome to another episode of Shit They Won't Tell You in Sex Ed. And this week, I'm telling you all about how you can enjoy Valentine's Day even as a single person. But before I get into those tips and tricks, I want you to go ahead and click that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and then leave me a comment about how you plan to spend your single Valentine's Day and how it's going to be great. Of course, you're gonna have to finish watching this video to have some ideas, but we're gonna get there. So here's the thing. Americans are obsessed with Valentine's Day. We spend $18.5 billion per year on this one 24-hour day. This includes 180 million cards, 224 million roses, and 36 million heart-shaped boxes full of mediocre at best candy. If you're single on Valentine's Day, you're not alone. In fact, you're part of 47.3% of adults in the US who are single. That's a big amount. Luckily, I have a few tips and ideas how to enjoy the day even when you are single. Tip number one, don't ignore it and be thankful that you don't have to fake being extra happy for 24 hours. Look, this day is gonna happen whether you like it or not, so don't try to act like it isn't happening. Pretty much anywhere you go or anywhere you work, someone is going to be getting something and celebrating the day. It's inevitable. They're gonna get flowers, a teddy bear, cookies, whatever. And if you choose to ignore it, you're likely just going to make yourself even more annoyed and you might even find yourself having your own conversation or your own argument in your head about how stupid the day is. And honestly, that's only gonna make the day worse and put you in a bad mood. Try your best not to swear at people you see buying gifts or roll your eyes at couples embracing. Use this as an opportunity to be happy for others. And keep in mind, a lot of these others are faking their happiness for the day. Believe it or not, one of the times the most breakups happen is right after Valentine's Day and early spring. For many, Valentine's Day is an obligation and not a genuine expression of emotion. So be happy you get to spend the entire day with someone you hopefully truly love yourself. Tip number two, be your own valentine. Nothing tells the world how you want to be treated more than how you treat yourself. Instead of waiting around for someone else to buy you a gift, buy yourself one. Wrap that f***er up and open it with surprise and delight. Send yourself flowers to work if you want them, but don't lie about who they're from. Sign your own name and own up to it. There's nothing wrong with treating yourself like you're special. In fact, 14% of women send themselves flowers on Valentine's Day, and I say good for them. Stop waiting for someone else to do something for you that you can do for yourself. Treat yourself on a date, have a great time, make sure you masturbate, touch your body and spend time pleasing yourself the way you'd like someone else to. I mean, let's be honest, you probably know how to do it better than anyone else anyway. And if you don't, well, that's an entirely different topic. Tip number three, throw a party for all your single friends and celebrate the love you have for each other. One year for Valentine's Day, I was feeling particularly down, having recently gone through a breakup, and I decided to throw a f love party. I went to the store with my friends, we bought some Valentine's Day stuffed animals, we cut the heads off, we bought those candy hearts, we crushed them and put them in a bowl, um, we painted a sign that said f love, and I invited a bunch of my single friends over to my apartment. We sat around, we had a couple drinks, we played some video games, watched a movie. There were probably 20 of us there, and it was a really great time. Honestly, probably one of the best Valentine's days that I've ever spent. And I think you could do the same thing and have a good time. Turn it into a celebration with all of your friends. You can really make this holiday whatever it is that you want it to be. If even after these ideas you're still feeling a bit down, remind yourself that we're not even sure what the true origin of Valentine's Day is. There are a few different theories about their roots and how it came into existence. Some argue that the ties are directly related to the anniversary of the death of one of the three different St. Valentines of the Catholic Church. Others believe the holiday was put in place to Christianize the pagan celebration of Lupercalia, a fertility festival dedicated to the Roman god of agriculture. But if you're single on Valentine's Day, 
you probably don't give a flying rat's ass how it started because being single on Valentine's Day sucks. Well, it did until you watch this and now you know how to plan ahead and handle it. Leave a comment below about your Valentine's Day plans as a single person. Help others come up with great ideas of how to spend the day. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I've got a lot of content in production and I don't want you to miss out. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. And in the meantime, check out one of these other videos. And don't forget to send me your questions about sex to thomastalksabout at gmail.com.